Hi there, historical geology students. My name is Callan Bentley, and I'm the professor for your section of historical geology and the accompanying lab. I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to myself and to the course via a short little video here. I promise not to take up more than about five minutes of your time. The first thing uh, that it's important for you to do is grab a copy of the textbook. Here's my copy. Obviously, yours won't have all these purple post-it notes sticking out of it, but this is Steve Stanley's Earth System History. It's the third edition, so make sure you get that from the bookstore. And there's a lab manual. This is what the lab manual looks like. It's Port and Carlson are the authors, and it's the sixth edition of Historical Geology uh, Interpretations and Applications. So it's important to have both of those. We won't have lab the first week of class, so technically you won't need the lab manual until the second week of class. Um, so uh, that should be the textbook buying schedule. Uh, just to give you a sense of what you're getting into here, this class, Historical Geology, is basically the biography of the planet Earth. Um, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to tell what's happened in Earth history. The Earth is a, an old planet, and we've uh, arrived on the scene rather late in the game. So we have to be sort of clever and detective-like uh, to figure out what's happened in the past when no one was around to observe it. So it's kind of like a giant planet-sized game of CSI. Um, we're going to spend about one-third of the semester on techniques uh, for how historical geologists operate, and then we'll spend the remaining two-thirds of the semester marching through Earth history. We're going to go back to the beginning, talk about how the planet formed, and then we'll go forward through time. And the resolution on our story will get better as we go through time because uh, more recent rocks are more likely to still be around. Really old rocks are more likely to have been destroyed by the various processes of the rock cycle. It's fascinating. It's a fascinating story. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting uh, sub-stories, plots, and themes that run through the story. Um, and uh, I think you ought to appreciate it. It's not an easy class. Definitely, um, it is a class that sort of picks up where physical geology leaves off. Physical geology is about processes and products of Earth history, and historical geology is much more about the story of Earth history, you know, and it assumes an understanding of those processes and those products. So by products, I'm talking about things like rocks and uh, minerals, uh, the ocean, the atmosphere, things like that. Um, the class will take a lot of reading on your part uh, outside of the classroom. Uh, it'll take regular attendance of lecture. Uh, there will be math involved. There will be writing involved. Uh, so it's important uh, that you realize that this isn't rocks for jocks. This is a real you know, rigorous introduction to Earth history. And you need to be prepared to invest some time and effort in the class. Um, I put a lot of resources online for you on Blackboard. So you should go over to Blackboard if you haven't already and start checking that out. Uh, all the PowerPoints I use in lecture are there. Those PowerPoints are not notes. They're uh, PowerPoints of images. And so we're going to project those images up on the screen and talk about what they mean. So being in class to hear that discussion is absolutely essential. There's no way anyone can pass the class without attending. Um, another thing you'll see on Blackboard is uh, test review materials. All the labs are there, so you can print out the labs in advance if you want to. Um, there uh, will be quizzes that are going to be conducted on Blackboard. There's a discussion board space. So there's a lot of resources there. You should definitely you know, check it out, and you should plan on accessing it on a regular basis, probably about once per class meeting, so uh, at least twice a week. If you have your own home personal computer, that'll be easy. If you don't have your own home personal computer, then you'll need to make plans to use one of the college's computer labs to access Blackboard. Um, there's going to be a field trip. That field trip is going to be coming up on October 27th. Uh, we're going to be going out to the west, uh, beyond the Blue Ridge, to the Shenandoah Valley. We're going to look at the sequence of rock layers there and then how they were deformed and basically tease a story out of that. So it's going to be essentially the geology of Massanutten Mountain and the Shenandoah Valley. It's a real field trip. We're going to be outside. If it's raining, we're going to get wet. If it's cold, we're going to be shivering. Uh, so we need to dress appropriately for it and deal with it and have fun with it, uh, regardless of what the weather throws at us. Um, the other major thing I just wanted to say in this video is come see me and say hello. You know, stop in, introduce yourself. I definitely think it's really important for students to get to know their professors, not only, you know, geology classes, but you should introduce yourself and, uh, you know, give a little bit of your backstory to all of your professors. When you know your professors um, by name and in person, it basically makes the educational process work a whole lot better. You know, uh, we be both become more invested in your learning. 
you don't want to let me down by you know failing the class so you're going to work harder if you know who I am and know that I know you um, and I'm because I know you don't want you to fail so uh, I'm going to basically be more inclined to step in and uh, correct you know any behaviors that I see or uh, bad study habits early on make sure that you're doing well so our first class is on Monday today's Friday so I won't be in over the weekend but uh, you, you can certainly uh, stop in any time during the first week of class. Um, my office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays, right before our class, 11 a.m. to uh, 1.30 p.m. I am also happy to meet with people any other time. Um, I'm a bit of a workaholic, so I'm in my office a lot. Uh, I really enjoy doing geology, so uh, I'm, I'm around a lot of the time. You'll be able to find me here. But you can also set up an appointment with me to make sure that I'm here when you're here. I recommend that you do that. So I'm looking forward to meeting you, and I'm looking forward to sharing the geological perspective on Earth history with you uh, over the course of this semester. Thanks a lot, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in class on Monday.